briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The lawsuit in question revolves around the application of Truth in Lending Act, TILA. The plaintiff, who purchased a used Hyundai along with an extended warranty contract from a dealer on credit, had launched a TILA claim against Hyundai Motor Finance Corp. After the car dealer assigned the credit contract, known as a Retail Installment Contract, RIC, to Hyundai. The crux of the plaintiff's argument was that the dealer had violated TILA by failing to disclose a part of the sales contract's payment. However, Hyundai was taken to court as the plaintiff argued that this violation should make Hyundai, as the company that holds the credit contract, equally liable. Yet, the lower district court dismissed the plaintiff's case, prompting him to appeal to the United States Court of Appeals for the Third Circuit. The district court ruled using the Federal Rule of Civil Procedure 12b-6, basing their decision on the lack of evidence suggesting that Hyundai had waived its statutory protection rights or agreed to take on extra liability. The Third Circuit was to rule on whether Hyundai, as the assignee of the retail installment contract, could be held legally responsible under TILA. The court found that assignee liability under TILA only applies if a violation is clearly apparent in their assigned documents, such as the disclosure statement. This followed similar rulings from the 7th, 5th, and 11th circuits. The court also ruled that including a holder notice in the RIC, a requirement by the FTC, does not establish Hyundai's liability under TILA. In the same vein, the court rejected the plaintiff's argument that Hyundai had expressly assumed assignee liability. In the end, the court affirmed the district court's judgment, dismissing the plaintiff's claim. By doing so, it confirmed that the scope of assignee liability under TILA was indeed narrowed by Congress, and that it is not enough to merely have knowledge of a violation for this liability to apply. Crucially, this signifies that Hyundai could not be held responsible for the dealer's alleged TILA violations in this situation. The case underscored that enforcement provisions in credit contracts like the RIC are strictly formed by written agreements, and they cannot be expanded through assumptions of liability. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.